hey guys welcome and now you can see we have the icon over here okay now what we can do is within the raw widget it has a property known as main access alignment and we can then say main access alignment dot space between you can see we have the space and we have center we have space evenly we have space around and space space that okay and for the now we are interested in the space between okay use control and s to save and you're going to see it right over here okay great and what we want to do next is over here we want to have the search input over here okay we want to have the search input over here okay now to do this we cannot have the search input within this row and the reason we can't is because if we had it within the row, it's just going to append it to this spot over here. Remember the row widget will basically help us to display all of our widgets within it horizontally, right? So what we can do is we can wrap this row widget with a column. Now I like and use control and drop and you're going to say wrap with column, okay? And a column will basically help us to display all of our widgets vertically that is from top to from top to bottom and you can see now the first widget of the column is a row widget and within the row widget we have this test widget and this container which is basically to display our icon right and now after this row widget you can see it ends over here after this row widget within the column, we can then have the test field. Okay, seems good. I know fully understand all this. Now within the test field, we have a property known as decoration and it's gonna take in the input decoration class. Okay, not input decorator, input decoration, okay. Now within the input decoration, it has a property known as int test, which is similar to that of the place order in your HTML. And now we can say search for products. Okay. Use control and S to save. And you're gonna see this over here. Okay, you can see that. And now what we can then do is Within the input decoration class, it has a property known as border, and we can give border for all sides. To do that, we just have to say outline, outline input border. Okay, use control and to save. And you can see currently we only have this border at this bottom. Well, after this, we're gonna have this. Okay, you can see we have it in all sides now. And what we can do is we can get rid of this border to do this within the outline input border it has a property known as border side and we can then say border side then dot no we basically do not need any border and now it's not going to be able to see the test field anymore the test field anymore okay and now what we can then do is within the input decoration class it has a property known as fill color and you can use whatsoever color you desire, but I'm just gonna be using colors that white. And what we then have to do after using this fill color, you can see currently this color is white and our scaffold background is also white. So definitely it's gonna be very hard to see it. So what we can do is within the input decoration class, it has a property known as field. And we can set this to true. What this will do is it will give us a greenish color. Okay, now you're going to be able to see it now. Okay, now you can see we have this and you can see this clearly. Okay, and you can see over here, it is way too sharp. So basically, you can just wrap this uh, test field with a container and within the container, you can have the decoration and then the box decoration and then you can have the border radius, right? But in order to use a shortcut, what we can just do Yes, we can alight and use control and dot and wrap with widget. We're going to be wrapping it with a widget known as clip, clip arrow, that is double arrow, a clip arrow, right? Okay. 
Now within the clip power red, it has a property known as border radius. You can see we can easily just use that border radius rather than having the container and the decoration, bus decoration, border radius, okay. And this is gonna be border radius, secular of just 10. Okay, and you're gonna see it a bit rounded now. You can see it's not gonna be that sharp anymore. Okay, you can see there's this little hedge, and hopefully you can see this in yours, or you can just uh, maybe make it 20 or 15 to make it a bit much more obvious.